And, and can, can you tell us the general of how you grow strawberry here? Right, so what we're looking at right here is a new strawberry planting that we're actually planting right now as we speak. Um, we started growing strawberries in 2017. Um, it's been quite a journey for us. We really jumped into it. We planted about an acre and a quarter that first year. Um, we had a lot of rain, so our planting was very drawn out over like a two and a half week period. So we had a lot of plant mortality. Um, but the first time we did you pick, we, we knew that we had to keep working on strawberry production and figure out how to do it. So that first year we were planting on black plastic on a flat bed. And we did that because we already had all the equipment necessary to do that. We were trying to keep that initial investment low. Uh, we wanted to grow on plastic because we've been practicing plastic culture for many years here. Uh, my dad was growing vegetables on plastic, you know, 30 years ago. So we were familiar with it. We like drip tape. We like being able to fertigate. And then just reading about strawberry production, reading about increased yields and especially fruit size, fruit quality and disease incidence is all you know better on plastic. So that's why we went that way. Um, now you can see we're on a raised bed that's on white plastic. Uh, we utilize the white plastic because that first year we had a lot of issues with the fruit getting too hot on the black plastic. So one of our first days of U-Pick was on Memorial Day weekend and I think it was 95 or 96 degrees then and we lost all of our early berries. They just got absolutely fried on the plastic. So we really like the white because it's cooler. You can see here we're planting dormant bare root plants. Um, the great thing about these is you have a lot of flexibility in your planting date. Um, you have a lot of selection of variety. So you can grow, you know, you can have a really long season and different size berries, different flavors, something for everybody. The downside of it is they have to be planted by hand, um, which we're doing. It takes almost all the labor on the farm to even be able to get an acre of these in the ground each year. We also really struggle with the runner removal. So unlike matted row, when you're in plastic culture, you treat runners as weeds, basically. You don't want runner prol proliferation. You're trying to pull them off. Once they get off the bed into the ground, it uh, becomes a, a huge task to clean them up. And that's something we've really struggled with because you know once we start getting into apple season and we have pumpkins we have a lot of other things that we're taking care of and it's hard to make time to go pull runners in the strawberry patch so we're still doing dormant bare root plants we're going to do an acre of dormant plants and then we're going to do two acres further out in this field of plugs we're going to plant those plugs in early september um, hopefully we'll get enough growing degree days that we get adequate crown development and then we'll pick those next year and we may or may not try to carry those over to a second season. Uh, we've been trying to carry our strawberries over for two years because of you pick and how our land is laid out. We want to try to keep the production close to the barn so that it's easy for our customers to walk into the field and pick. Uh, we don't have to give them hay rides or anything like we do in the fall. But as we get bigger and we have more acreage and we realize how difficult these things are to take care of, the annual system where we plant plugs around Labor Day, get a crop, and then we would come back into those same beds and plant maybe a cucurbit crop or maybe some kind of a coal crop like broccoli, that system is starting to look more attractive to us because it's easier to mechanize and we can make it more efficient. Thank you.